I hope the sound is well. We have load shedding. <laughs> you are with me in South Africa, in St. Francis. Welcome to our Thursday Live. Can someone please comment if you can hear me well? Um, we are currently load shedding and I just want to make sure that my, my um, personal um, connection is working well. Is there any response, Yaku? Not yet. Okay, I believe you can hear me. I'll shout to my phone sitting on the other end of this, this beautiful store of ours in St. Francis. Welcome, sit back, relax, enjoy. If you can't hear me, look and you will be seeing what I'm doing. This is a creative session to give some creative inspiration. And we hope that wherever you are watching, whether it's our Choco family in Switzerland, in Australia, New Zealand, or my own Choco family right here in South Africa, that you will be inspired after this session to try something new. I am going to be quite honest with you. I, this was the quickest setup for any life ever. I think we did it in a three minute, <laughs> in a three minute time. So I'm going to start relaxing now and share some inspiration with you. The colors that we are going to work with today is Danny's Day. What's worrying you, Yaku? The light at the back there. Monica, can you put those three lights off? So we're just switching some lights off behind me. Nate, I also have some Foloso. Is it clear in the screen? I have my hubby Yaku today assisting because Yaku Jr. is not feeling himself. So we pray and we hope that he's better soon. There's Danny Stair, John's Joy. I think I've already shown Danny. The other color that I use that I don't see here is matte black. And then I'm going to also be using our metallics, Charm Silver and Alice Gold. And I'll be using Choco Paints Clear Glaze. So what I have already done just to make the process easier is I have mixed some of these colors, the colors that I've just mentioned in the, in the ad earlier today. I've also put out um, reddish mellow that I won't be using, but I do think Yaku, you can pass me cloud white because that's something that can work. I've mixed my paints with some clear glaze. So I'm going to mix um, cloud white so that you can see the process and that it makes sense. And then Monica, I'm going to need another cup, please. One of these disposable cups. What I'm doing, there are no rules because this is a creative process. I just want my choco paint to be more runny for the pouring part. So we are going to pour with choco paint. Thanks, Monica. So I've poured out more or less 50 mils of choco paint, cloud white, and I've done it the exact same thing with all the other colors. And I'm adding more or less half of the amount that I've poured out, I'm adding clear glaze. So it's more or less 50 mil choco paint and 25 mil clear glaze. But there's no right or wrong, I just want the paint to be more runny. Okay, so I'm mixing well. The next thing I'm going to do, so there you can see it's more runny. If you want it less runny, add less glaze, more runny, more glaze. On this end of the table, I have my metallic colors. So this is Charm Silver. And there's actually been a question earlier this week. Can I um, mute the tones of gold or metallic colors with other metallic colors? Yes, you can. I just don't recommend adding chalk, normal chalk or paint colors to the metallic colors as the composition of metallic colors differ completely to your normal chalk or paint colors. So I mix my silver well. It's metal pure metal particles that make up this color so it's heavier than the rest of the content so you need to mix well I add some of the charm silver in a disposable cup 
And now I'm also going to add some Alice Gold to my silver just to mute my gold a bit. So I mix well. Have patience with the mixing process. It's worth it. And I am going to play around until I see the tone of the gold I'm getting is something beautiful and something that I love. So then you can see it's not a bright silver, it's not a bright gold. However, I do want more of a gold tone with the blues I'm going to work with. I can pour this back into a container and use again at a later stage. So don't worry that you think I might be wasteful. How beautiful is that? So color is absolutely a personal preference. I'm working with blues today. If you, you want to use this technique in a space, use colors that you love, whether it's greens, whether it's pinks, whether it's tones of reds or yellows, neutrals like grays, anything can work. As long as you love it, that's the most important thing. You need to be happy. Okay, so there is my metallics. I'm not mixing any glaze to my metallics. As the composition is already, or the consistency is already nice and runny, as the composition of metallics, as mentioned earlier, differ completely from the normal chalk or colors. Okay, now the fun can start. I'm going to, and now you need to relax with me, please. I'm going to, on this piece of canvas, so just to give some background on what I have done here, is I, Monica actually, not myself, Monica has put some um, stencil of Paris paste on earlier today just to create some texture. If you haven't used our stencil of Paris paste yet, please, go and subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so that you can see every week when we update the channel what new tips and techniques we share. But if you go on our YouTube channel, there's actually numerous videos um, that shares the application of the stencil of Paris and ideas and the versatility of the product. I'm now going to pour some of my mixed choco colors onto my canvas. This can also be a furniture piece. It can be a chest of drawers that you play on. Um, you can put the drawers upright and do the pouring technique on them. I just want some yellow for brightness. That's John's joy. Here comes Nate. Just some black for drama and for darker tones here and there and see this as inspiration I'm sure you will be able to create something fantastic some white and then my metallic mix And there you can see the gold is beautiful. It's like an antique gold. This on its own makes me very happy. Anyone can be an artist. And now it starts swiveling it around. So I just turn around my canvas. And next, now you need to be patient with me. I'm going to switch on my hair dryer. As you can see, I no longer use my hair dryer for any hair purposes, but I use it for art. I'm going to um, try not to interrupt the sound. I'm sorry if it does happen.
how the cells are formed and as you want to create changes add more lightness to cert oh, certain areas even that can happen it's fine you can tweak the design as you go so there are no rules again <laughs> it was the the question is is the hairdryer on hot or cold um it's on the it was on the cold section i don't actually think that makes a difference let's quickly see i can see how the cells are formed so the hairdryer initially was on a cold setting i'm switching it on now to a hot setting let's see what happens doesn't make a difference so hot or cold setting works perfectly if you leave me now I will just continue being playful and creative what I really like is the fact that the gold is muted and it's beautiful and it's a stunning idea to do kiddies parties be ready for a mess um, to do what I want to do is to do my bar stools in my kitchen in a technique like this so it looks like the tones of blue seeing that I'm living in a coastal area, but if you're in the free state in Switzerland where there's greenery on a bar stool, can you imagine that? And you have these stones, your own piece of art, which I will have in the shop very soon, that you've created with very little effort. So this is pouring, it's easy, it's simple, it's fun, and I hope that this has inspired you to try out something new. We have a TikTok competition in South Africa ending um, the end of this week is it the 29th the 30th of april so you still have time this can be a stunning entry to show how you create your own art thank you for spending this brief moment with me i'm going to be more creative now and i hope so are you thank you for watching i'll be back next week my message for the week is have endless colorful creative moments with those that are dear to you. And don't waste time on nonsense. See you next week. Bye.